welcome back to The Silver Lining here on YouTube or welcome if you're new here. I'm Sarah and today I'm continuing on with my 40 bags in 40 days challenge. I actually missed last week and I missed a whole week of decluttering because of some family stuff that we had going on and then we were out of town. So I am picking up where I left off. I have had four bags taken out of my house so far during this challenge for Lent this year. And something really fun that's been happening kind of on my end of things is I have the app called Time Hop. So you can link it to your different social medias and pictures from those social medias pop up each day, like this day, five years ago, six years ago, however many years ago. And four years ago, I did the 40 bags in 40 days challenge for the first time. And I was um, posting my progress over on Instagram. And so those photos are showing up in my time hop right now. And I, I'm amazed at myself at how much progress I've made. And even then I'm, I was posting before and after, and I was really proud of the progress then. And now I'm looking back like, wow, I've gotten rid of so much more over these past four challenges. And I say that not as a self promotion, but just as an encouragement to you, like we all start somewhere. So wherever you are, just start where you are and start making progress towards where you want to be. I didn't even have a goal in mind, like an end goal in mind. I just have sort of perpetually become a declutterer and I now do it without even thinking. So this challenge really helps me to hone in on what I want to stay and what I don't need or what doesn't serve our house or our family anymore. So anyway, without further ado, let's start today. I'm gonna kind of hit the kitchen today and just go through and pick out things that I can easily tell that I don't need that we haven't used in a long time or for whatever reason, we can get rid of it. First off, I just want to give a shout out to a few of my friends here on YouTube. Jen from Live Laugh Love with Jen, Candace from That Canadian Mom, and Danielle from Clean House Simple Mama. These three ladies participated with me once again this year in this 40 bags in 40 days challenge. And unlike me, they <laughs> stuck to the schedule and were posting each Wednesday leading up to Easter. And because of the personal things that I had going on in my life, I am actually recording this the weekend of Easter, this voiceover. And I just wanna give a shout out to them for being consistent and saying yes to taking on this challenge with me. Even though I was a little bit MIA during the weeks leading up to Easter, I still want you to know that I was watching your videos. I was still decluttering as you'll see. I just a lot of times wasn't getting my videos up in a timely manner, but I was decluttering along with you. So thank you for your motivation to keep me going throughout this challenge. I need to relocate this to a different drawer with all the other cords and this little shaker cup thing. I just don't really use it. I can probably get rid of it. Um, I'll probably just throw it away. What I usually do when I stir things in a cup or shake things up is just use an ice cube. In years past, the kitchen was definitely the room where I knew I would get a big bang for my buck, I guess you could say. Um, but over the years, I've really pared down and I've tried to maintain it throughout the year. So like, for example, this bin, or I think it's a big Tupperware container under the sink. This is all of the big tumblers that we have. This is where I keep them. If it starts overflowing and they don't fit, either stacked on top of each other or however, if they don't fit in this container, then we have to go through them as a family and pare down. So that's what I'm doing here real quick. And it just feels so nice to know that this is where they all are and this is all that we have. But I will say that as the years have gone by, since my kitchen is maintained in a way that 
um, serves my family the best and serves me the best, it really has become a lot harder to pare down in the kitchen. And there are some days where I think, oh man, I have a lot of stuff in here, I need to go through it, but I just have gotten to the point where I do it right then within the time frame of a week or two and pare down at that moment. So these challenges where I'm trying to collect a lot of things in a shorter amount of time or in an allotted amount of time have become a little bit more difficult. I just wanted to add real quick that I actually did go through each of the cabinets in my kitchen. There were just some of the cabinets that I didn't take anything out. So <laughs> rather than keep the footage where I was literally just opening cabinets <laughs> and shuffling through them, I took those clips out and just put in the parts where I'm actually decluttering for your motivational enjoyment. <laughs> dishes this is um, the passionate penny pincher menu planning slow cooker box my sister and I bought this together and turns out we're not really recipe followers so I'm gonna pass this on probably to uh, my cousin I know she's a recipe she's been looking for recipes a lot lately so I'll pass that on to her we did like it. It helped us to like think of ideas for dinner, but we never really followed the recipes, but they're really, it's a really cool thing. Getting rid of some baby spoons. These are just kind of duplicates. And then these straws, these are like the silicone straws. I just don't really like silicone straws. A couple of cups, some containers, this little word art that 
I just picked that up from Dollar General one time um, and it was in my window, so mm, done with that. These I'll probably just toss. We've moved on to some different spices that we really like and then a little bamboo cutting board and these reusable Grove um, washcloths. So the cool thing is my daughter's school is doing a fundraiser where they are collecting all types of home items, clothing. So this is perfect timing. Like all of this besides this box is going into a box that will be donated to school. And then how it does the fundraiser is the school takes it to wherever it's supposed to be taken and it gets weighed and then the school is paid per pound or something like that. So this feels so good to be getting rid of all this stuff. Okay, I just finished putting the last of the dirty dishes into the dishwasher. I asked my mom and my sister about these long burger dishes. They wanna look at them. My mom will probably keep them. Um, I did come across a couple of more items to throw in the donation bin. So that is growing. We're gonna call that one bag today. I am gonna take out the recycling. That is gonna be a bag today. And I am going to take out the trash because after I threw those flowers away that were on the windowsill, it really stank. So I'm gonna call that three bags for in the kitchen today. And now I'm just gonna kind of wipe the counters and clean up. I'm gonna try to get a couple more spaces after that. After going through the kitchen and going through all the cabinets and drawers, I really was celebrating myself. I lit a candle. It was a beautiful sunny day and I was just feeling like this was such an accomplishment. With everything that has been going on in my life this first quarter of the year, I am so happy to have gotten through this challenge and to be able to share this with you. So as you can tell, I am dressed differently. So this is clearly a different day. I don't know. I mean, it wasn't even like sequential days. It was just whenever I had time over the last few weeks to kind of go through things. We actually got my daughter this dresser um, a few weeks prior and got rid of her old dresser, which was actually the changing table dresser. It kind of had like a lower point on it so you could put a changing table pad on it. So she needed something a little bit bigger. Anyway, we took this time to go through her clothes um, and just pick out things that were too small, that weren't gonna fit this season. And I had also made an appointment at our local resale shop, which I will share in this video as well, because I know you guys find it motivating, a lot of you do, when I actually load up the car and you see me take it and get rid of it. <laughs> that doesn't always happen, but I can definitely share in that feeling because taking it and physically getting it out of my possession is such a relief. So anyway, as we go further, you'll see me change clothes a few times. <laughs> and um, that's because I just kind of did this when I could. But also, we started a pretty big home project, home update project during Lent as well. My oldest daughter is away at school and my second daughter is wanting to move to the basement bedroom so we kind of started doing this bit of an overhaul to the rooms in our home and by we I mean me mostly <laughs> so, so in addition to kind of thinking of decluttering spaces and getting things out for this 40 bags in 40 days challenge I also was rearranging and emptying rooms and painting rooms and moving other things into rooms. So I'm hoping to share sort of a home update um, in the future, but for now, just know that I was doing my best and I'm so happy to have finally gotten all of this put together to share with you. 
All right, here's a pile of what we're getting rid of. Here's a stack of shirts. I need to decide if they will go to the resale shop or if we'll just donate them. But if we're, they're gonna go to the resale shop, then I need to get hangers for those. This is donation, this is donation. So I'm gonna call this one bag. I'm gonna call this another bag. This is for sure going to the resale shop, but I'm also going to revisit this another time because I have some stuff in my closet that will add to this other hanging stuff. So not bad progress. Hey guys, I am checking in. This is um, the day that I'm going to our resale shop. I actually had to reschedule it, so I am running super far behind. But I hope you're enjoying the video so far. You can see that I have the pile here that I got from my daughter's closet. I am going to quickly go through my own closet. I know I have some things because throughout the year, um, anybody that is wanting to get rid of things that are not the correct season, it kind of just gets shoved into the corner um, back of my closet where things where there's some hanging space. shop I like to switch out my <laughs> um, velvet hangers my thin velvet hangers so I need to get two adult hangers for these I did decide to bring this pile of t-shirts from my daughter's room to the resale shop so I need to get hangers for those when I get there and that pile of t-shirts is going to be donated to an organization near us because the logo on the front is of that particular organization so this will go, I've already counted this, so this will be another bag. I also remembered when I was in here, I have a couple of canvas paintings. I'm gonna pull those out and bring those to the resale shop today. My husband and I bought those at the Dominican when we went on our honeymoon. <laughs> How many years ago was that? Almost 18 years ago. <laughs> So I'm gonna pull those out. They haven't been hanging up. They're not really our style anymore. So I'm gonna get those ready to go as well. And I will count those each as one bag because they're larger items. I also just remembered, and I have some stuff hanging here that I'm gonna bring. So basically everything to right here in that is, is all going. So I'm gonna count this as another bag. mentioned we are swapping rooms around in the house and I may do sort of a updated home tour afterwards because as of right now I haven't been filming a lot of the changes it just seems too overwhelming for now but I wanted to count these bags in with my 40 bags so this one back here has already been counted but the hula hoops I'm counting as one let's see two, two, three, four for this um, like TV tray stand thing. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
nine and this bag of trash is 10 more. So while I haven't made the progress that I have made in the past, it still feels really good to have all of this stuff leaving the house soon. I wanted to move down to the basement real quick. These items over here will all be relocated. This is going to the resale shop and this is probably going to the garbage. It's just a remnant of a carpet. This is part of a twin bed that we took down. So I'm not sure what's going to happen to that piece of wood, but the mattress is going away. I'm trying to give it away. And if I can't, then we'll just see what the next options are. And then over here, I'm pretty sure that at least those two um, throw pillows are going. I'm not sure about the smaller ones or the comforter. So we'll say one, two, three, four, five more items gone. All right guys, today is the day that this stuff gets loaded up in the car and we bring it to the resale shop and it is out of the house for good. I made so much progress in my home in a two week span. I really was able to kind of tackle this project that we've undertaken during Lent. So a couple things I didn't count initially that I wanna add to my tally is the big white, no, the big brown box that I carried out first, these two white boxes, the two tables that you saw me carry out, and the sound bar that you'll see me carry out, as well as the rug. And there is a bed frame that we tried to take to the resale shop. Now they didn't take it because they said they don't sell them very quickly. So I'm gonna keep it on Marketplace. It's still in my garage, but hopefully it won't be there for very long. So I wanna add all of those to my tally. I realized as I was watching this back that I never tallied the two pictures that I took out of my master bedroom closet and the big black shelf that was behind me while I was taking all this stuff out to the car. I am actually giving that to my sister or she's buying it from me. They're going to use it in their homeschool room at her house and it is a shelf that I have actually downsized. So that's another thing going. <laughs> so while this challenge definitely proved to be exactly that, such a challenge this year, I am thrilled to report to you that I am just three bags shy of my 40 bags in this 40 day challenge. Thank you guys so much for being patient, for tuning in and watching. I am so thrilled with my progress. I hope that it gives you some motivation to do something similar or even something on a smaller scale. Just remember that wherever you are, whatever progress you've made, progress is progress and it all counts. So thanks again, guys. I hope to see you soon. Bye-bye.